All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have the cube root of negative 64 r squared w to the 15th. So what I want to see is obviously, can I take the cube root of each one of these numbers? So what I'll do is I'll just split it up. The cube root of negative 64 times the cube root of r squared times times the cube root of w to the 15th. Okay? So, let's think about it. What, two number, what number multiplied by itself three times gives you negative 64? Negative 4. What number multiplied by itself gives you r squared? No mm, clue. I'm not really too sure. I'm going to r to the negative first would be negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, times negative 1 again, which would just leave you with negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this. Yes, Nicholas, question? OK. So therefore, I'm just going to leave this. I can't evaluate this right now. So I'm just going to leave this as a cube root of r squared. What about 3 w to the 15th? Can I write w to the 15th as a number multiplied by itself three times? Yeah, how could you write that? W to the fifth cubed, right? Because you remember, you multiply themselves. And the reason why I want to write that like that okay. the reason why this is important, Alex, is what you notice is that these two are now going to undo each other. So you're just left with negative 4. These two are going to undo each other, left with w to the fifth. And then you're going to be left with cube root of r squared, which we'll just leave in that format. All right?